Hey, New Seeker, this is David Chang reporting from GDC 2012. I'm here with Chris and James from um, Acronym Games and Roadhouse Interactive, respectively. Um, they're here and showing us uh, MechWarrior Tactics. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the game, guys? Of course, MechWarrior Tactics. What's it? Essentially, it's a free to play, browser based, uh, turn based strategy game that runs out of the Unity web plugin. That's right. Yeah. Um, we really wanted to mash the intensity and the ferocity of the old MechWarrior franchises, first person shooters, and the tabletop game, the, the, the strategy aspect of that, and make something really awesome out of that sort of combination. Um, in terms of the franchise, we're starting at 3025. Which is really the start of the Mech Warrior universe. Uh, when I was growing up, that's where I started playing, and I want new players to really experience the, uh, the fun and the growth that uh, everybody should have as they move forward in this universe with us in our game. Right. Mech Warrior Tactics also has three main key features, components. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the collectability, it being a free-to-play game. We also have uh, the customization, which is really fundamental to the IP. And then we have, obviously, the combat, the really fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of the collectability, we give players stacks. And stacks are surplus technology armament containers. And these stacks essentially are... There is a, it's a type of booster pack, right? It's uh, like other collectible card or miniatures games where players can receive uh, an assortment of awesome weapons, uh, uh, mechs, pilots, uh, amongst other things. Right. So with these stacks, you're going to get a bunch of goodies, right? As soon as you jump into the game, we're going to give you a bucket full of toys to play with. And with these toys, that you're going to be able to jump and start beating the snot out of each other mech on mech on mech combat. It's going to be awesome. But you're going to be wanting more of these toys. And so you open up these stacks, and you're going to be finding all types of things, you know, weapons and auto cannons and heat sinks, all types of technology and, and pilots. And then say you get a mech chassis, and that's awesome. That's a great feeling because now you get to jump into the mech bay and start customizing your mech to all your wants and needs. And customization really serves specific purposes, like certain play styles. Right. You can, uh, your own personal play style, but the mission at hand. Do I want a 100-ton behemoth fully armed and armored? stomping down the middle of the field, mm -hmm. or do I want to customize my recon guys to be really fast and really tacked out? Right, so essentially once you finish customizing your mech and decking it out the way you want, so you know I want black mechs with pink trim, fantastic, and I have uh, the quintessential 3025 Atlas out in the field, I'm going to want and take them and challenge other players because this game is also asynchronous and we'll be able to run concurrent games. So that means that I can start a uh, match with every one of you out there, and we can go back and forth and take our turns at our leisure. Yeah. Say I have a lunch hour, I can play a game in 20 minutes with Chris, or maybe we want to take a longer time, uh, a couple days. Absolutely. Yeah. So once we've customized, we've collected, we're going to bring our mechs into an awesome map, uh, hex-based, you go, I go style gameplay, and we're going to plan we're going to uh, kind of strategize, and then we're going to watch everything explode in an awesome cinematic replay. Yeah. And these cinematic replays are really what we're proud of, because we take this turn-based game and bring it to life. You're going to get, after every turn, these sort of sequences where you see all the mechs run and gun and shoot each other and blow each other up, which is awesome. But at the end of the game, you're going to get a whole entire sequence, a seamless battle, start to finish, of your mechs blowing each other up. Absolutely, and after every battle, you're going to get a little bit of a reward, more if you won, and you're going to cycle that right back in. You're going to be able to purchase more stacks, expand your collection, and have more choices. Right. That's pretty much MechWarrior Tactics. Sounds awesome, guys. Um, so, I mean, MechWarrior has had a really long fan base and stuff. How has it been working uh, in this really established uh, universe? Like, have you had a really good response from the fans? The fans have been wanting some of this for a long while. Absolutely. Boyhood dream of mine. I played this game uh, almost since its inception uh, 25 years ago, and I love it. The fan base is great. Awesome, guys. We really look forward to seeing it. And any timelines on when the game might be coming out? or? Releasing 2012. 2012? Sounds great. Uh, thank you, guys, and 